Within Photoshop, we can make PDF documents. Now we can do this in one of two ways. We can either do it by combining opened documents, or we can direct Photoshop to a folder with saved documents and create a compiled PDF document out of that folder's images. We can even mix the two together. The process is essentially the same. So let's start off by compiling these images here into a single PDF document. Now these are all sketchbook pages of one kind or another, either photographs of analog imagery or a completely digitally created kind of research panels. How the pages were created is irrelevant. The process of compiling these into a PDF is the same. We go to our file drop down menu, go down to automate, and there you will see PDF presentation. We select that and this panel will appear. And we have an option to add open files or browse. If we select browse, we can navigate to any folder on the computer, select any number of files and select open. If we had open files, they'll appear as well. And you can select any and remove them. You can select a file and drag it to reorder it. So this way I can remove any duplicates and change the order so I'm happy. With our files organized, we then move over to our output options. We never produce a multi-page document or a presentation. More often than not, it's a multi-page document we want. As a presentation, we'll have options for automatically turning from one page to the next after a certain period of time. So we're going to select multi-page document. And all these standard other options are absolutely fine because we're not requiring it to place file names or any of our additional text or information. We purely wanted to compile these JPEGs or Photoshop files into one PDF. So we leave all these as standard. With that done, we simply hit save, direct it to a location, and hit save. This will then take you to the save PDF options. This is where we can decide how large the file is and how high or low the quality of the image is. There are various presets and I tend to find that the PDX 2008 is a good balance between file size and image quality. Bearing in mind that these files are intended to be uploaded for submission, you don't want a file that is too large to make that a difficult file to upload or timely to download at the other end. With that done, we simply hit save PDF and it will save in a normal fashion. And we will then find our sketchbook here. It's probably important to consider file names as well. Now, whilst a file name might make sense to yourself, such as sketchbook one, personal identity project, we have to remember that there will be lots of other students submitting files with the same project in brief. Please ensure your name, your project or brief title, as well as your year group are somewhere within the file name. This concludes this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.